What is up guys, it's UPS from Upstream Gaming, aka Josh, but you can call me whatever you'd like. Uh, today, just a little tutorial, I know a lot of people have been asking me how to get rid of the uh, texture errors in Gary's Mod and stuff like that. So uh, first of all, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll go ahead and fire up Gary's Mod for you, just so you can see what I mean by texture errors and maybe what you're seeing in game. If you're not, then this tutorial does not apply to you, but in this case, uh, it applies to many people, so I'm going to go ahead and fire this up for you. And then we'll just uh, start a new game real quick on, we'll say, CS Office. So, um, some of you may run into these errors and stuff like that. And if you are, this will hopefully fix them for you. Well, it will fix them for you. And it's much easier than downloading all the games. Okay, so you see how there's nothing but errors and purple. <laughs> errors, purple, and black everywhere. Okay, so what we need to do to fix that is first of all what you're gonna do is uh, come to the upstreamgaming.net website which is my website um, I'll make sure to have a link to everything but you'll go to Gary Gmod content and then it's gonna have this is everything inside the content that you're gonna download and what you're gonna do is click this download link it'll lead you over to a Dropbox and it's about a 6.18 gig uh, download so it's a pretty big download but it's still faster than downloading the games you'll hit download on that uh, obviously I already have the content uh, already downloaded because it would take way too long <laughs> to do it on this video. So, it'll come up with this Gary's Mod Content Dart Rar. You're gonna need like WinRAR probably to uh, open this up, and I'll make sure to uh, have a link to that program in the description. But you're gonna open this up and I'll drag this on the screen. And it'll open up this WinRAR file. It'll take it a minute. There's a ton of files inside of it, so it'll take it a minute for it to detect everything. And while it's doing that, you're also going to need to open up a file browser window. So actually, I'll go ahead and open up a new one for y'all. If it'll open, there we go. Okay. So, once you have the new file browser open and this is searching, you're going to need to go to the C drive. Then you're going to want to, once the... Go to Program Files by 86. If you're on a 32-bit system, it'll just say Program Files, but if you're on 64-bit, it'll be Program Files x86. Uh, then you're going to go into the Gary's Mod, or no, sorry, uh, go to the Steam folder, open up Steam, and then you're going to want to go to Steam Apps, open up Steam Apps, go to Common. Then, once you've got a common, open up Gary's Mod. And then open up Gary's Mod. And then you're going to open up add ons. And all that you have to do. I have a bunch of stuff in here right now, that's because I've played on quite a few servers, and uh, since I'm a live streamer, I've played quite a bit of Gary's Mod. But, uh,. Some of you, especially if you're just now starting with Gary's Mod and just installing it, uh, you'll have basically nothing sitting in here, so don't worry about this folder being empty. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take CSS game content, Half-Life 2 game content, and Team Fortress 2 game content, and you're just going to drag those into there. Now, this process is going to take a little bit. Um, obviously, there's a few gig of files that you're going to be exporting into this folder, so it'll take it... Uh, about 10 minutes, I would say, to uh, export everything. So uh, once that finishes up, I will uh, I will see y'all whenever that finishes up. Alright guys, now one thing to remember whenever uh, you're ins moving this stuff over from the archiver is uh, since they're bigger files, it'll come up with this screen, or this pop-up too. Uh, your computer will lag probably for a second whenever it's copying over because you're copying over a large amount of files. Uh, this just takes a couple seconds to do. Uh, just remember that usually this will pop up unless you're on a very, very fast processor and then you may not have this issue. Mine's a little bit older, a little bit slower, so 
I still get this transfer thing. But don't worry, if it pops up, it will run very quickly. Okay, now that we're through that, let's go ahead and show you that it did fix the uh, texture errors. So we'll fire up Gary's mod real quick again. Pop this up on the screen real fast for you. Sorry about my phone going off. Not very professional of me, I apologize. Alright, so once this pops up, we'll just go ahead and start a new game real quick and we'll do the same map, uh, CS Office, start that game. And just to prove to y'all that the texture errors are resolved after putting those files in there. <clears throat> do, do, do. Wait for it to start. Because my computer likes to take its time whenever it's recording stuff. There you go, look at that. Beautiful texture. Sorry about the lag. I am recording very heavily uh, on my encoder right now. So, yeah, um, but there you go. All the texture errors fixed, all that jazz. Good to go. Fantastic. I don't, I got a weird skin on myself right now. Either way, um, so the next thing, uh, if you, uh, the next little thing I want to cover real quick is um, you can uh, add maps into the game as well. Uh, it's just, Especially if you're a live streamer like me or stuff like that and uh, you don't want to wait through as much loading time whenever you're getting into servers, um, you can install some, I guess, default maps for CSS, Half-Life 2, and Team Fortress 2. Uh, the way you're going to do that is um, in, this Gary's, in this Gary's Mod folder, not in the add-ons folder, but you'll go to the maps folder right here instead of the add-ons folder. Open that up. And... Uh, for the sake of showing y'all, I have removed all my maps and everything like that. But what you're going to do is, uh, you'll go into this folder, then open up CSS Game Content. Nope, sorry. Derp. Uh, CSS Maps. And then open up the Maps folder. And you're going to copy everything in this and drag it right in there. Uh, whenever this screen pops up, uh, what you're going to want to do is just click uh, Yes on it and then move and replace and do this for all conflicts move and replace okay so now you're gonna have these maps in now uh... what you're gonna wanna do is go back up one folder or two folders and then go to half-life two maps and open up that maps and copy everything except the graphs folder uh... don't don't copy the graphs folder and you're gonna drag that and just click do this for all contents move and replace okay now the next thing you're gonna wanna do with the graphs folder is open up graphs on your uh, you're gonna open up graphs on both sides and from the archive copy all these and drag them into that do this for all conflicts move and replace okay then we'll go back to the maps and then you're gonna go to the team fortress 2 maps open up maps and copy all these puppies right into there and again I'll be back alright and then again once this pops up just do this for all conflicts move and replace and you are done with all this so you can exit all that out if you would like um, and then just to show you the new maps in a in your Gary's Mod. I'll go ahead and pop open Gary's Mod again for you real quick. And uh, these maps will help not only with getting stuff from servers, you already have the maps, but also if you want to get in sandbox and just kind of mess around with things, uh, you've got a bunch of different options maps, map wise now as to what you can do. So um, we'll just start a new game and then see uh, Counter Strike, you've got all these maps now. And then you've also got Half-Life maps, um, Team Fortress 2, there's 74 maps, uh, all kinds of maps and stuff that you get just from installing that sort of stuff, so that's pretty cool. Um, but other than that, everything will be cleaned up, good to go, and uh, <laughs> everything should work for you now. So, um, if you like the tutorial, make sure to throw a like in the description, or throw a like, leave a comment in the description. If you have any issues, make sure to just comment, let me know, uh, I will definitely do my best to help you out. Um, if you want to keep up with me, you can go on over to the website or go to any of the social links or anything like that. But other than that, appreciate it very much. Um, the uh, all credit goes to the uh, CSS cheater.era.ee, which I'll put in the description. He is the original uploader of the files. I just put them all in one big download for y'all. Uh, so it'd be easy.
for y'all to find everything and know exactly what to do. But thank you very much for watching, and uh, y'all have a fantastic day.